Hi folks, here's our weekly update for the week starting September 19th. Uh, this is week four of our Shakespeare semester, and this week we're wrapping up our conversation about Henry IV Part One and transitioning into what is essentially a sequel to it, Henry V. Uh, the usual cycle of assignments will apply. I'll ask you to finish the quiz over Acts 1 and 2 by Wednesday the 21st and finish the quiz over Acts 3 through 5 by uh, Friday, September 23rd. And of course, we'll be continuing our conversation about Henry V into next week. That doesn't mean we're done with talking about Henry IV Part One. Uh, I would like to get a lot more from you on that play uh, as you're kind of slogging your way through. Uh, I'm especially interested in thoughts you might have about Hal's position within the father-son relationships, both with his biological father, King Henry, and his relationship with Falstaff. We've begun to start talking about that on the quizzes, and I'd like to encourage more of that if we could. Uh, the other thing to remind folks is that the first formal essay assignment is going to be due on Wednesday, uh, September 28th, We've, so it gives us a little bit of time and uh, I think the assignment that's outlined in the syllabus is pretty clear, but if you do have any questions or just want to uh, bounce some ideas around, please do reach out to me. I can, uh, we can set up a phone call or uh, have some other way of talking if you'd like. Uh, really what I'm looking for in that assignment is uh, pretty straightforward, uh, a literary critical response to one of the plays. Uh, I always get questions about comparing and contrasting plays, uh, and I'm not a big fan of that kind of assignment. It puts a lot more pressure on the writer. I'd really like to see you focus on one particular play, and really one idea or theme within that play. You're certainly not going to be able to say everything there is to say about Hamlet, or everything there is to say about A Midsummer Night's Dream in a single essay. But focusing on the question of love, or the relationship between men and women, or uh, the political structures and the way they're interrogated within a particular play. That's a, a theme that I think you could handle within a particular assignment. I'm asking, as you'll see in the directions, I'm asking you to have at least four outside sources, that is, sources other than the text itself. If you have more to draw upon, that's terrific, but at least four scholarly sources for this assignment. Uh, the other question folks always ask about the papers is, how long should it be? And my answer is really always, it should be as long as it needs to be in order to discuss the question that you're asking. That could be fairly brief, that could be pages and pages and pages and pages. Uh, if you want a target, you know, I would guess uh, if you're looking somewhere in the 12 to 15 page range, you're probably in good shape but I would really prefer that you answer the question or explore the question that you're asking rather than worry about page limits. But again, I'm always happy to uh, kind of bounce ideas around or uh, respond to rough drafts. If you want to send me something, uh, I can take a look at it that way. Uh, Henry IV Part One segues into Henry V in some really bizarre ways. Uh, we need to remember that there were a couple of years between uh, the writing of the first the Henry IV and the writing of Henry V. And the other really important thing that changed during that period, as many of you have suggested in your backgrounds and context assignment, is the creation of the Globe Theater. Shakespeare and his company moved out of uh, the curtain and the theater and there was a, a brief lull while they were working on the Globe, but by 1600, the Globe Theater was in creation, and Henry V was almost certainly written to be part of its opening season, if you will. And uh, I think it thinks about theatricality, and it thinks about the relationship between uh, actor and audience in some really creative ways. So Henry V, as we're digging into this week, uh, have fun with those papers and let me know how I can help.